Hey guys, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. I am doing the Divine Feminine update. I'm gonna, oh, if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, feel free to. I provide Zodiac specific messages. I go live um, for the new moon and the full moon readings. I'm sorry, Zodiac specific messages will be full moon, new moon readings. I go live every time, um, a couple, uh, a few days before the cycle actually um, comes through, which I wanted to talk about because this is eclipse season. So I might be doing the full moon reading up to a week before the actual full moon because I don't play with that solar <laughs> solar eclipse energy, okay? Um, lunar eclipse energy. It's eclipse season, so that might just be what how I'm going to do it come um, these next live readings. Um, I also go live every Sunday for general and um, love and relationship readings week ahead. If you guys want to go ahead and join me for that. I have the May, mid-May, and next 72 hour videos all posted already if you guys want other content to look at. And then by the end of the week, you'll have your back to bullshit as usual. Alright, I'm starting off with these coaster cards that I've been using lately that have these inspirational quotes and proverbs on them to kind of just bring in the energy, okay? And we'll see what messages Spirit has for the Divine Feminine Collective. Let's see. Okay. So first one out, we have the future turns out to be something that you make instead of find. Okay, Divine Feminine. So you are definitely uh, manifesting something, cooking something up in the kitchen, I'm hearing. To be able to look back upon one's life in satisfaction is to live twice. Yeah, somebody's actually been doing a lot of shadow work, Divine Feminine, either you or the, the person you're directly dealing with. But there's a lot of beautiful energy here. Like, I'm, very, I'm feeling renewal. I'm feeling um, Phoenix energy, uh, rebirth energy. You could be dealing with um, a Scorpio. Everything is something you decode. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, decode. Okay, some of you guys might by my work in code something to do with uh, some kind of code. So that could be anything that like uh, engineering or um, I'm hearing I'm hearing medical billing and coding as well. Some of you guys could be nurses, phlebotomists. I'm hearing. Okay, we have everything is something you decide to do, and there is nothing you have to do. Yeah, somebody is. Um, Def, divine feminine you're learning how to say no that's what i'm hearing our greatest glory is not in never falling but in rising every time we fall yeah um someone's learning um how to how to practice out um healthy self-image healthy boundaries definitely moving forward in i'm hearing self-love and self-care okay yeah how we spend our days of course no, I'm sorry. How we spend our days is, of course, how we spend our lives. Yeah. So somebody is somebody is learning how to to um, incorporate their spirituality in their everyday life. Cherish yesterday's dream. Cherish yesterday. Dream of tomorrow and live like crazy today. Yeah. And learning how to how to be in the present while they do it. All right. Yeah. And noticing all the portals that are opening up for them. Yeah, because you're not afraid to fill the void here. And you know how to fill the void healthily, Divine Feminine. Yeah, because you have the, with the breath of the cosmos here, you're not trying to micromanage the universe anymore. You know that the universe is working for you. And as long as you do what you're told, you know, uh, your your guidelines from your spirit guides and your and, and the most high, you're, you're basically on the right track. Yeah, because... Yeah, you're learning how to play while you wait, too. So somebody is um, definitely learning how to let go of control issues. Yeah, and and so, like I said, with just say yes here and then uh, lifting the veil, uh, lifting the veil, questioning everything, I feel like, yeah, this person doesn't isn't a yes man anymore. This person is like, why do you want me to do this? Because I remember the last time you asked me to do this, I got in trouble or X, Y, and Z happened or blah, 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 blah. Yeah, look, it's happening. Keep holding your vision. Like this person is is learning how to express themselves more thoroughly. 
yeah and grounding themselves and actually they under, they under they um they understand now that grounding yourself and and pursuing all of these baby steps playing in between the waiting is actually what helps manifest your your reality quicker action follow your intuition before it makes sense yeah just say yeah, just say yes but to yourself not to others yeah and and you're learning how how to be good with yourself like sanctuary like well, how you feel when you're alone and by yourself that's why i'm saying shadow work is a really big um a big theme I, I'm feeling here. Um, a lot of um, hermit energy. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Yeah, but somebody is really um, opening up to their potential here. And reclaiming their authenticity. Yeah, a lot of energy adjustments were done. Yeah, and it's basically what I'm seeing is somebody's learning to fall in... You're falling in love with yourself all over again. This is really healthy, um, healthy energy. Divine Feminine, I really feel like you're tapping into this because somebody is actually trying to call in a soulmate. Yeah, secretly. <laughs> secretly. Yeah, see, honor the masculine under the deck. But in honoring yourself, you're honoring the masculine and you're actually really starting to, to realize that. Look, the lover's under the deck. You could be dealing with the Gemini, but this is bringing you justice and this is going to bring you the leap of faith that you've been waiting for. Look, see, Hermit Energy under the deck. Just keep doing your clearing work. Keep being strong. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Leo, a Libra, an Aquarius, Aries, or a Pisces here. But this is exactly what you needed. Yeah, to bring in the soulmate that you wanted. And go ahead and let your friends help. Like, I think, you know what I'm also seeing is that somebody's actually really relying on, on their friends. Yeah, with healing family issues here and soulmates, somebody could be dealing with a toxic soulmate at home um, or a karmic family member of some sort. But um, yeah, let's see with the attraction here and and healing and healing family issues. Like you attract romantic, um, oof. Let me see. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, and that's what I'm saying. Like that's why this person when they, when they have to open up and and they get triggered from doing their their um their clearing work with the hermit energy under the deck could be dealing with the Virgo. This person has their, their go-to team, their A-team. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, that way, during the it doesn't spoil the getting to know you phase um, in trying to meet a brand new soulmate. Yeah, and you understand that while you're healing your triggers and while you're healing yourself, that it's, it's divine timing at work. And it's actually wor it's worth waiting for. And you know that, like, you know that in an like how do i said like in rewards to doing this work that you're gonna you're gonna meet somebody suddenly you know instantly know that they're your soulmate and it's gonna move quickly engagement honeymoon and there and there won't be any deceptions whether this is the one or not because with religious factors here you freed yourself in order to to get what you wanted and this is how you did it you did it the healthy way you did it the right way and divine feminine if you've been waiting to call in your soulmate that here they come Yep, this could be the one. What did I tell you? You've already met the romantic partner you seek, or you will be in the near future, so keep an open mind. All right, this is a really quick Divine Feminine update, but I hope this helped. Bye.